no room for Napoleon. Napoleon was a small brown dog with very big ideas. One day while he was out on his boat exploring, he spotted land through his telescope. Perfect, he said, my very own paradise island. Exploring. And he rowed ashore. Napoleon strode up the beach. Crab, bunny and bear came out to greet him. Welcome, they said. Crab gave Napoleon a beautiful pebble from the beach. Bunny hung a garland of flowers around his neck and Bear invited him on a tour of the whole island. Tour. Later, the friends made Napoleon a mule fit for a king. Isn't this wonderful, said Bear. The best, said Napoleon. I'd like to stay. Crab, Bunny and Bear were delighted. Let's make you a home, they said. Napoleon got very excited. I want it to be tall and white with a great ocean view. Napoleon had so many ideas that he scoffed down his dinner as quick as he could and rushed off in search of just the right place. Why is he in such a hurry? asked Crab. No idea, said Bunny. Never mind, said Bear. Let's play. Early the next morning, Napoleon was already building his new home. Crab, Bunny and Bear offered to help. Napoleon gave his new friends orders. Bear, bring me some branches. Bunny, fetch some flowers. Crab, pile up some pebbles. He sounds very important, thought the three friends, so they collected and stacked while Napoleon chopped and hammered. Collected! As the three friends did more and more, Napoleon did less and less, but he always kept an eye on him through his telescope. The one time crab, bunny and bear stopped to play, Napoleon barked, Jump to it! There's no time to waste! Napoleon made Crab, Bunny and Bear work all through the day and all through the night. Napoleon's house grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Crab, Bunny and Bear's island got smaller and smaller and smaller until the woods, garden and beach had nearly disappeared. At last, Napoleon's new home was finished. He stood at the top and shouted, I'm the king of the castle! What is he talking about? asked Crab. No idea, said Bunny. All I know is that he used, used up everything on the island, said Bear, and there is no room left for us. Crab, Bunny and Bear knew they had to do something. The next morning, King Napoleon looked down from his castle. Where's my breakfast? he said, searching for his three friends with his telescope. No crab, no bunny, no bear. At last, Napoleon spotted them far out at sea. King Napoleon strutted around his kingdom. He dug holes and rolled in the dirt. He barked and howled, but no one brought him his breakfast. Napoleon looked for the three friends again. They were, an they were on another island having a meal fit for a king. This isn't much fun, he said, and his tummy rumbled. Napoleon decided to row across to the other island to see his friends, but when he tried to row ashore, they said, No, there's no room for Napoleon. No one had ever said no to Napoleon before. But why, he asked. You used up all the pebbles and all the trees and the flowers, said Crab. You wouldn't let us play, said Bunny. You spoiled our island. You're a selfish dog, they all said. Napoleon's ears drooped and his crown slid from his head. He forgot all about being king. It's no fun on the island without you, he said. If I put everything back the way it was, will you come home? Maybe, said Crab. I'm not sure, said Bunny. You would have to make a lot of changes, said Bear. Napoleon got very excited. I'll plant the most beautiful flowers. I'll knock the castle down. I'll grow the tallest trees. 
crab, bunny and bear were delighted. They helped to collect seeds and plants to take back. Then Napoleon climbed into his boat and waved goodbye. You'll be able to come home soon, he promised. Napoleon worked and worked and worked. Then the friends finally came home. They couldn't believe their eyes. There were lush green trees and the most beautiful, colourful flowers. This is even better than before, the three friends said. Isn't our island beautiful, said Bear. The best, said Napoleon. If there's room, I'd love to stay. Of course you can, the friends said. Now let's play. But far out at sea, a small ginger cat spotted land through her binoculars. Perfect, she said. My very own Paradise Island.